Hey, howdy everyone, Monster here, back in action for more detention center attraction. That's right, Edgeworth got arrested. For what crimes we may never know, except we do know because it was investigating a uh, scene of the crime without really having a proper stance of doing so, considering that he is not a prosecutor anymore. Because, oops. Regardless, April 6th, detention center, holding cell. The second time I've been in this cell. All the evidence uh, has been taken from me. Ooh, it, it just it, it got took, huh? And the only thing I have left is uh, Kay's uh, Yakutarasu's badge. I'm worried about Kay. Is she all right? The culprit is me. I remember looking down. At the person in the red raincoat. Mr. Edgeworth, it was me! The culprit was me all along! You have a visitor. Please hurry uh, out. A visitor? Who could it be? Why, uh, <laughs> Uncle Ray. Is someone by the name of Dick Gumshoe? Will you, uh, will you turn him down? Oh! Gumshoe's here? Pow! No, it'd be hard to face him, though. <clears throat> April 6th, detention center. The visitor's room. Wait there. Hmm. He's not going to stay and keep watch? Judge Courtney! Pardon me. Hush. Please, have a seat. Why are you here? I was told the, defend the detective had come. If I didn't instruct them to tell you that, you wouldn't be sitting here right now. I can't think of anything she'd need from me at this point. To try to figure out what she wants. Remember while I said that uh she actually likes Edgeworth? I'm telling ya! Let me tell ya! Here's my badge. It's about Kay Faraday. I believe she's being interrogated as we speak. You people. Do you have any idea what you're doing? How dare you arrest an innocent person? That's not a very nice thing to say. I would ask that you correct your statement. She is merely someone uh, you want to believe is innocent. Am I wrong? There's no decisive evidence to prove that she's the culprit. There's no evidence to prove her innocence either. Enough of this. It's pointless. The girl will be judged. There is nothing you could do to stop that. That's all there is to say about that. Now, let's get to the issue, real issue at hand. Oh? The visit. Your visitation rights have been restricted to begin with. As if I'm some monstrous criminal. Suppose my credibility has hit rock bottom. But of course, your friends have fared a little better, though. That lawyer and the girl were both quite worked up. Mrs. Shields and Emma? When I last saw them, they were giving on, uh, giving one of the guards quite an earful. What? You don't mean... Be grateful. The goddess of law has been quite busy. They were spared punishment. It certainly seems like you have plenty of time to for small talk. Hmm, yes. Prosecutor Von Karma is presently continuing the investigation. You are worried about them, right? She saw right through me. Oh! So what? what is her cruel? Let's cut to the chase. Exactly what are you planning? 
I am not planning anything. There is merely a question I wish to ask. You're asking me? Yes, of course. Who else is there? Objectively speaking, you are a clever individual, and you have a sharp mind. As a prosecutor, you are highly talented and capable. Are you being ironic? Your sarcasm falls short. I am being completely sincere, and that is why I cannot understand. Take this case, for example. You're up against the PIC. There's no chance for you to come out on top. Even a child could understand. And yet, you... <laughs> Perhaps my younger self would not have done something so reckless. The me from before had power. That's why I thought justice was on my side. Just like you right now. However, because of a certain man, my self-centered sense of justice was broken down. Ever since then, I began to see people in a different light. I'm able to serve as a prosecutor only because of the support of the people around me. People like Detective Gumshoe and all the other investigators. Okay, as well. Honestly, even I'm surprised at how much I've changed. I see. Is that how it is? I've come to understand you a little more. Understand me? Not likely. Someone like you who forces her own sense of justice onto others could never understand. I wonder about that. Is that what you think? If I could say one thing, it would be that this conversation has been very interesting. That is all. Our conversation is coming to an end. However, I have one last thing to tell you. The date of your hearing has been set. I came here today to inform you. Today, in the PIC meeting room, may you humbly accept your fate. If that's all you wanted to say, couldn't you have just sent a messenger? The holy words of the goddess of law simply cannot be entrusted to others. With that, Mr. Edgeworth, I bid you farewell. I shall be seeing you again later. Yeah, she up to something. She's, she's getting like a mixture or something or some such. April 6th, Attention Center. Hold and sell. Oh, hey, look, look at this. Examine. There's a poster hanging on in the wall, uh, hallway. The dice in slice game. Roll the dice and decide your daily menu. The dice in slice game has been canceled due to the warden's arrest. We sincerely apologize to everyone who was looking forward to it. No need to apologize for canceling such a silly game. <laughs> but you like... You know, just what are you gonna got? I mustn't neglect my personal appearance just because I'm in a holding cell. Prosecutor, not. This is my personal duty. Hmm? My collar is slightly bent. There. A well groomed appearance reflects a well groomed mind. From here on, I'll need to focus myself more than ever. Okay. Is. Uh, one bed might be like end, so I don't want to hit bed. The thick boss placed securely on the window. That reminds me. I watched a movie that had iron bars just like these. It's about a place to escape a prison by filing down the iron bars. Of course, I wouldn't do such a thing. I don't even have a file. No! Even if I had one, I still want to do it! Edgeworth, who are you talking to? Why was that last bit, like, read out loud? Like, dictated, not read. <laughs> the, 
There's a poster on the wall next to the toilet. We are currently out of toilet paper. Please be prepared if you wish to use the toilet. What does that mean by be prepared? Maybe they have a bidet. Which, for real, bidet's really good. It feels really good to have a clean anus. I don't know what else to tell you people. That's just kind of how it works. Toilet paper just isn't the best. It's close, but it's also a big waste of time, baby. There's a dining menu sitting on the desk. Seems like I get food delivered if I pay for it. Let's see. Moldy white bread lunch set. Switch to mold moldy whole wheat bread for an extra dollar. Oatmeal and grit set in a meal. For limited time, get extra gruel at no additional cost. Thank goodness I'm not hungry right now. Does people not want their gruel? Come on. It's delicious. A simple bed I don't expect to be very comfortable to sleep on. If I were Detective Gumshoe, he would probably snore loudly while sleeping like a log. May never get a chance to work with him again. However, <clears throat> this is the path I choose. I won't regret it. Another visitor. K. Ah. Uh, seems you're all right. I'm relieved for now. You know, this is kind of touching. <laughs> You look a little down, Kay. Please, cheer up. You didn't do anything wrong. I guarantee it. Please, just accept it. I am a murderer. That's not true. Why won't you believe it in yourself? What should I believe in? I mean, there's nothing. There's nothing to believe in? That's not true. Before you lost your memories, you literally jumped into my life. As a result, your worlds and actions have become ingrained into my memories. That's the mark you left behind. How could you call that nothing? I believe in your innocence. That's why you must believe in yourself as well. Thank you. But it's no use. Look at all the misfortune I brought upon you. If you can... Please forget it all. Your memories of Kay Faraday. Hey! You know, this takes me back. And my youth, that I too was a gallant. Is this the kind of justice that the PIC seeks? Hmm. Justice, huh? I wonder. Man, what is he planning? Why is he pushing things forward so forcefully? It all seems too unnatural. Is there a hidden agenda? No time left. All or nothing now. Well then, I must take my leave. Hold it! No matter how you look at it, Kay's arrest was unnatural. There must be something behind it. Oh. Hey, hey I'm a busy man, you know. I'm kind of a big deal, you see. I trust uh, those won't take up too much of my time. In order to make it out of the situation, I must break through his defenses. <clears throat> there are plenty of things I want to ask, but my time is limited. First, I'll ask about why he rushed the rest. I have no intention of letting him uh, push me around or we'll overcome this difficult situation. Okay. Yeah, why did you rush the rest? Oh, I would like a clear explanation. Explanation? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb with me. You clearly did not fool, uh, follow the proper procedures. Okay, okay. Maybe you should pipe down a bit. Do you even know the position you're in? Uh... I'm a prosecutor. I'm a prisoner. Uh, what? That wasn't it. Maybe I should have done the other thing. I wonder what you're getting so excited about. 
I can understand the high spirits all you uh, young uh, folks seem to have. Why is he playing with fire all the time? It makes me think he's gonna say something. Oof. Yes. I will overcome. Why did you risk the rest? Yeah, I think if we do it this way, he's gonna be like, what? Ah, no. This is one of those things where we had to keep him standing on. Okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on, just, just, just a little bit. So he grabs his little fire thing and flicks at it, right? Suppose we let the criminal escape. What do you think would happen? What will happen? We'll be uh, made to take responsibility, you know? You see? I do hope you understand. And what uh that well he's flickering at it, so we're gonna wait again. Just take my advice and stay out of this. You know what's good for you. I refuse. Kay is innocent. You know. This is so pitiful. It brings me to tears. Why won't you just give up? Things are finally going well. Uh he's doing that. Things were going well. Things were going well, you say? That's a strange way to put it. It almost sounds as if you would personally wanted Kay to be arrested. Far uh, more than uh, necessary. Have you lost your impartiality? Mm. You think so? That certainly wasn't my intention, you see. Edgeworth, my boy. You've written too much into this. He skiffly avoided the issue. However, I still have some serious doubts about Kay's arrest. Next, I shall ask him if the investigation was sufficient. Hey! I got up again. You're never gonna keep me down. I can't miss even the tiniest bit of information. That's the only way to break through the situation. Uh, how long was the investigation? Was it under authority? How much time was spent on the investigation? You know, I wonder about that. I don't really remember, you see. There's no way I could accept such a careless answer. Like I said, I don't remember. My memory's not as sharp as it used to be, you see. Sometimes I even uh, forget my own son's name. I don't care about your- I don't care about your idiot son. I want your answer regarding the investigation. Y yes, he really is an idiot. Even though I don't remember raising him like that. <laughs> <laughs> There's no end to this. He just keeps on dodging the question. Try another line of attack to make him take me seriously. It's hard to say that the investigation was in was sufficient. The rest. Was it under your authority? My mind, do I really look that important? The Prosecutional uh, Investigation Committee Chairman. It's quite a prominent title. Not that I care much for it. That was rather blunt. I'm so shocked that I could cry. I'm sorry. Flattery was never my forte. You keep talking like that towards me. You, you'll never get your prosecutor's badge back, you know? But I don't need my badge. Let me make this clear right now. I do not live for the sake of my badge. Status means nothing to me. Do you understand? Young, so young. Let me teach you something as uh, you're seen it in, lo in life. What you're saying right now, it's far too naive, you see? Look in your eyes has changed. You might respond differently to some of my questions now my chance. How much time was spent on the investigation? Mm, well, well, uh, aren't you an impertinent one? Even someone like me is starting to get annoyed. What a coincidence. I feel the same way. Answer me. Was the investigation sufficient? 
Young folks always live life in the past lane. That's why I like to bully them. <laughs> Here it is, folks. A boomer in, in their natural habitat. You'll regret this soon enough. Uh, on the one bullying you? How do you bully someone? Uh... Oh, wait. Hmm? You should have quiet! Are you scared? <laughs> Ridiculous. I was just thinking about my next strategy. On how to extract information from a wimpy old man. It shows some remorse, you know? Don't you get it? I hold your fate in my hands. I don't care about my fate. When do you get your hands on it? He's doing the same motion, so I'm gonna, like, wait on it. In the case, even if you obtain some information, there's nothing you can do. <laughs> Just give it up already. If I refuse, mind if I ask why? It's simple. The truth is fading away. That's all there is to it. I see. I'm starting to understand what kind of person you are. But you know, it's all useless. It's enough to make me cry. Give it up. That girl's guilty has already been decided. Uh, decided? That's strange. The way you said that, it almost sounds like it was decided from the very beginning. What are you trying to say? The rest was planned. Yeah. Gotcha, bitch. Yes, it's clearly unnatural. Everything is progressing as if Kay's guilt was predetermined. Wasn't Kay's arrest planned from the start? I see. That's an interesting theory. But I don't have time to indulge in your flights of fancy, you know? Why don't we put, uh... Uh, head, uh, end to this uh, silly conversation. Precious, he's trying to get away. Before that, I must find out that the rest was lawful. Uh, it's not. It totally wasn't. Still very faint, but I'm beginning to see the path to the truth. Can't let this opportunity slip by. I still have more to ask. K is not the culprit. Mama, that's a rather bold uh, claim, you know? Anyone could shout out objections off the top of their lungs, you see? Mr. Former uh, Prodigy Prosecutor? <sighs> that was not it. It's no use! I don't have enough information. My chance will come sooner or later. But when it does, I mustn't let it slip by. Please wait. There's still something I want to ask you. Rune weary of a uh, little... Uh, did he die? Uh, please keep it short, okay? Uh, who made the decision? Who was the one who made the decision to arrest her? Hmm, well, I can't say I remember. Uh, growing old is a terrible thing, you see. My memory's not, uh, what it used to be, you know? I don't have enough clues to proceed with this line of questioning. I should try another line of attack. Okay. Not dig it. I hate when that happens. Okay. What's the basis for your arrest? I put together what you have told me until now. I cannot help but say that there's no base basis for Kay's arrest. Yes, yes, I understand, I understand. You see? Uh, but you know. It doesn't really matter either way. You can't overturn the arrest. I was, uh, irresponsible. You still claim to be a man of the law? My, my. <laughs> Those are some harsh words, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, you're starting to make me a little angry. Uh, I'm also a little angry myself. Uh, take it. Dig it. Oh, I had to go all the way back. 
No! No, 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 no! I'm not sure if I'll be able to get it in time. I'll say even harsher words. Wait and see. Ah, no, it wasn't it! I had I had to go for the robust. Cause like when he plays with his hands, it definitely seems like that's the case that I need to be doing it. So like there's definitely like basis for this, but not quite there. Almost, almost. You see, to be honest, I really can't answer all your questions, you know? That's just the position I'm in. You see, I'm a busy man, you know? Aren't you just pretending to be busy? That's cruel, you know? This old uh, chunk of coal has been working like a dog. And pretending is what you think that would accomplish. Are you trying to get sympathy? Ah! I'm gonna die on fucking this bit. I'm gonna fucking die here. Because it's gonna take me all the way back and I don't have enough for it. Uh, I might be able to get it. Yeah, we have only so much. Let's go, 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 let's go. You don't want to talk about it, do you? There we go. You don't want to talk about the case. Isn't that why you're trying to get away from this place? I said yes. I said indeed. Do you really suspect little old me? I do suspect you. But I'm confident about it. There was clearly no base for Kay's arrest. My, my, have you forgotten? Wasn't there evidence? Mask, letter, and the corsage were all found in the girl's possession. Not to mention, she even confessed. Oh, this serves to prove a crime. That's... Any objections? Uh, I fucking died here. God dang it. I was so bloody close. Uh, uh, uh. You know I'm a pretty busy man. I'll be heading back now, you see? Shoot! I messed up! Don't tell me that's like just the end. I give up now, I have to stand my ground. Yay! <laughs> this is a fucking long ass questionnaire! How far do we get pushed back? That's what I want to know. So we're here. Blah, 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 blah. Tip for tat. That's the basis for your arrest. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And then we go wait and see. And then we go on the top part. Where he's like, what are you doing? Come on, you're almost there. It's for real. There's, there's just so much of it. Objection. Do I just do objection? Uh, man, I had to go all the way back! I had to go all the way back for this! Oh. This is the thing I don't like, is that I just- I straight up have to go all the way back. <laughs> because I decided that it would be a good idea to. I don't know why I did this to myself, I'm gonna be real, it's just every time. And then it should be wait and see. Oh, you're so close. Yes, yes, mister. All those things. You see? You have no response. It's true, I have no objections. Though there's one point that bothers me. This man seems awfully familiar with evidence. 
Remember everything without missing a beat. That intrigues me. This could be a useful clue. Okay. Here, who made the decision? Who was the one who made the decision to arrest her? Well, I can't say I remember. Growing old is a terrible thing, you see. My memory is not what it used to be, you know? Perhaps I should use that clue. Don't play dumb with me. Didn't you remember all the evidence in full detail just now? Stop pretending to be forgetful, old man, uh, when things aren't going your way. Now then, who was the one who made the decision to arrest her? I see. You're a sharp one, aren't you? Uh, you know, I wish my son could learn from you. Because he's a real idiot. <laughs> Not interested in your son. Who made the decision for the rest? You're a bad man, you know? Don't you already know? The one who ordered the arrest. Obviously it was you, yeah? The person right in front of me. I'm certain of it. Ouch! You make it sound like I've committed some kind of injustice. I guess I'll have to clear that up. My honor's at stake here, you know? Very well. I'll continue to play along with you. Until you're satisfied. What is the most crucial here? What is most crucial here is... How much this man knows about this case? Let me get him to reveal that. Oh, it's gonna be a long one then. Steal or die. If I can overcome this, I'll reach the truth. About K, you seem to be quite... to know quite a bit. About K. The suspect regarding K. How much do you know about her? She's the suspect in this case. That's all I know, you see? The scout's on. I don't have enough clues to proceed with this line of questioning. Maybe I should try another a line of attack. You seem pretty familiar with this case. I'm a wise man, you know, and I'm familiar with most things, you see. I don't think it was very uh, wise of you to arrest Kay in this case. I'm a very busy man, and I can end this conversation any time I want, you know. Don't you forget about that. This would have already been over if you had simply answered my questions. If you give me a proper answer, I won't have to take any more of your time. I'll ask you once again, why are you so familiar with this case? I read the case files, you see. Honestly, it was quite a drag, you know? But it's my job, so what can you do? <laughs> because of my position, you see? I can't just skip out of it. <laughs> well, I had some time to kill, so I've read the whole thing, you see? You read all of it? Ah! I had to go all the way back again, please. I wasn't paying attention to the hands, that's what it is. Arc, 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 arc. Yes, yes, yes. Very busy. Very, very much a person. Uh, you just said you were busy. That's strange. Didn't you just say you were very busy? Aren't your faults uh, slowly coming to light now? If you truly wish to protect your position, I would advise you to rescind uh, the arrest order. You really are desperate, you know? I never say die attitude such as my heart. But you know, it's unfortunate that all your high work was for naught. Because we just discovered her unconscious body near the crime scene, you see? What was the weather like at the time? You found her unconscious. This is the first I've heard of Kay's condition when she was found. She was unconscious in the storeroom?
That's right. <laughs> the source of that information is classified, though. This man knows things even I don't know. Does he know the whole story behind this case? This could be a useful clue. The suspect, regarding Kay, how much do you know about her? She's a suspect in this case. That's all I know, you see. Scout's on. Perhaps I should use that clue. Something you said feels out of place. You know about things that the crime scene uh, investigation never revealed. Why is that? Just how much of the truth do you know? <laughs> You're making that uh, forceful face again. You know, uh, it kind of makes me want to do the same like this. You really are a persistent one, you know? But I could have minded that, you see. I will take that as a compliment. Can't you give it a rest already? At my age, the body's not as strong as it once was, you know? But there's no one else who could be the culprit besides her. She was even uh, given that much evidence to show that she committed the crime. She was given that much evidence. She was given evidence. You say? That's an odd choice of words. It almost sounds as if she did not possess them until her own will. I see. You really do have a fine eye for the details, as expected of a former prodigy prosecutor. You've already found your answer, haven't you? I'm listening, so go ahead and say it. There's no need to hold back. It finally wrenched uh, open the heavy door to the truth. Now all that remains is to strike the final blow. Kay is not the culprit. My my, that's a rather bold claim, you know? Anyone could shout objections at the top of their lungs, you see. Master former prodigy prosecutor. I shall break through this with that clue. Kay was framed. The true culprit is uh, pinning the blame on her. That is all my answer. <laughs> yes, yes, you're a clever one. It almost makes me feel bad that your prosecutor's badge was taken away, you know? Yes, it's as you say. Checkmate. Logic chess complete. We did it. Early mustache. You arrested Kayu even when you knew of that existence of the true culprit. Don't toy with me. There's no uh, way such an act would be tolerated. You sure are green, you know? That's what a prosecutor is supposed to do. We'll all work out fine if we make her guilty. Who would desire such a resolution? I had to say, maybe the PIC, and also maybe me, you know? <laughs> and when I heard your words just now, I can barely hold back my tears, you know? It was just so splendid, you see? And it burns me inside! Ah, oh, the most perfect uh, piece of work, you know? So I can't forgive such youthfulness. You say the truth is important, but you know... Once you know the real value of the truth holds, I wonder if you can still say the same thing. What are you trying to say? When you get to where I am, you can just create your own truths. Good time you want. Okay, Faraday is the culprit. That was the truth I simply manufactured at the <laughs> end. Very good. <laughs> that face, that expression. You were such a desperate one, you see? That's why I really wanted to bully you, you know? You see, even if you know the truth, there's simply nothing you could do. And that's the real value of truth. No shocking that it's to die for, you know? Why wouldn't, won't you pursue the true culprit? How much of the truth do you know? You understand now? The truth that you believe in is worthless, you see? Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Powerless, a former 
prosecuted? You. Ah, scary, scary. <laughs> you know, I guess the friend of the, the friends of the heinous criminal are also quite heinous themselves. Bellos, say You. And like this, you see, one more person will disappear before me. Ah, here comes the waterworks. <laughs> These days of mine just won't stop, you know. Well, damn! Everything will be decided in today's deliberation. Kay's innocence. I'll definitely prove it. 